Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. Let me tell you how to make the best rock candy at home. So you're gonna add a three to one ratio of sugar and water. So you're gonna start with three cups of sugar and only one cup of water. And then you're gonna pick whatever color you want. You don't have to add coloring, it's totally optional. But if you want it to be a color, you're gonna need to add 30 drops of food coloring in order for it to really show. If you are just gonna add a couple of drops, you're not gonna get any color in your finished product for rock candy. I went ahead and added 30 drops of blue. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stir it up really well and you're gonna put it on the stove. You can do this in a regular pot on your stove. I'm a science teacher, so I just did it on a hot plate with a beaker, but that's not necessary at all. As soon as it comes up to a boil, remove it from the stove and stir it really well and put it in a heat safe container like a Pyrex or something like that that will not crack when it gets hot or will not melt like plastic. And then you're gonna let it cool down on the counter um, and just kind of let it be there for a couple of hours. Seed a stick. So you're gonna get some kind of wooden stick or a dowel and you're gonna wet it and then you're gonna roll it around in some sugar and that is seeding it. You do not wanna put your stick inside your solution for the rock candy until it is um, cooled for several hours or that sugar will just melt right off. Once you put it in there, make sure it's in the middle and I went ahead and used some tin foil just so it would stay in the middle and not lean over to the side. You can see that this is what it looks like after a couple hours at the end of the day. So hardly anything is happening, nothing much is going on. I recommend leaving yours in the same place and trying not to look at it as much as I'm doing, but this is just for the sake of the video. I wanted to show you the progress of the crystals. Um, our whole point here is to get large crystals in our rock candy so we can have the best candy possible. This is what it looked like after one day. You can see it is absorbing that blue color, which is awesome, that's what we're going for, but our crystals are not very large at this point. You really need to leave rock candy in the solution for about a week. You can even go longer to two weeks if you want, but um, by all means, start enjoying it a little bit earlier. This was after about five days, and you can see that we're getting some significant sized crystals now. Um, a side note, you can even add some flavored extract to your solution if you want a little bit of flavor, like some fruit flavor, go ahead, some, add some um, pineapple extract or whatever you want um, in there to give it a really nice flavor. I didn't flavor mine though, mine's just straight up sugar. So you can see this is what your containers will look like when you pull it out and you're happy with the crystal structure. Some of the crystals will be formed at the bottom, don't worry, you can give that a good scrub and clean and it will be just fine. I just wanted to show you the leftover sugar. So here's the result of mine. I did this twice, once on the top with um, the three to one ratio, the bottom one did not have as much sugar, so definitely use that three to one ratio, you guys. Give this a try, let me know in the comments how yours turned out, and if you use any particular colors or flavors, I would love to hear about it. See y'all later, bye everybody.